There's a nice vacant Tudor manor at Chaley, Sussex, if you're only six inches tall. It's a wonderful doll's house which has just been presented to the girls' heritage and with it, teachers turn work into play. There's no need to peep through one of the hundred windows. A wall comes away to reveal the wonders within. has a perfect sitting out staircase which also leads to the upper rooms of which a conveniently removable roof allows a fly's eye view. By furnishing the rooms the girls, some of whom are crippled, learn how to make the best of the homes they'll have when they grow up. Like many houses of the period, there are secret rooms, including one in the chimney, where priests could hide in the days of persecution. It's fitting to keep such a nice place clean and tidy, and a habit so naturally formed continues always. Besides putting strength into little bodies, the heritage prepares their owners to go back into the world equipped for life. Designed and built by Elizabeth Muntz, the sculptor, it took her four years to complete the house of her childhood dreams. Child's Court was commissioned by Mrs. Eric Kennington for her daughter. Now her daughter is grown up, she gives child's court to thrill countless others. <laughs> 